all right so hi youtube this is going to be my um last video for today i feel like i've done four videos but i just had to repeat two videos twice and it's a little nerve-wracking but what i want to come to you today and talk about is an item that i um talked about in another one of my videos and that was the miracle of maracuja collection from qbc that was the tsv on friday and i was talking about the um pure maracuja oil as being the main reason that i bought the um collection i was like in shock that they put a whole full size 1.7 ounce item like this in that collection because this item by itself is 46 dollars and i think the TSV was like $59 and some change so it was almost like they gave you a bunch of other stuff for free after you bought this and maybe one other item but um I was um saying that this was one of my favorite oils and in comparison to um argon oil which I also have I have actually two I have one from Eden Allure Argon oil from Eden Allure, which I basically just use for my hair and I love it for my hair because it's really light and it doesn't weigh my hair down. And I also have um, Josie Marin's Argon oil also. If I'm comparing the two of them together, I tend to like the Tarte Maracuja oil better because of the fact that um, this absorbs into my skin. I usually use this at night. I'll either mix it with my moisturizer at night or I'll use this by itself and the reason that I use this at night is because I also use um, acne medications I have like adult acne and um, the medications dry my skin out really bad I end up with like dry flaky spots like in different places on my face so I'll use the maracuja oil after my treatments at night and when I wake up in the morning my skin is not only not flaky but the whole my whole face is moist I was a little hesitant to buy it and try it in the first place because it is oil and I'm thinking in my way of thinking that because I have acne that this would be the worst thing that I could ever use because I thought it would clog my pores and create more acne that is like the furthest thing from the truth it absorbs right into the skin I don't know how close it is to your skin's own oil. Like, you know, jojoba is almost exactly the same as this, the oil, the sebum in your own skin. So it absorbs and doesn't clog your pores. I don't know how close this is to that, but it pretty much feels the same way. It just absorbs into your skin. And I haven't had any problem with breakouts while using it. I've noticed that my skin does seem to be, it, it is more moisturized. It does help with like the, the, wrinkles around my eyes also and um I don't know I just like it and I like mixing it with my moisturizer also the ways that I do use it as the one that I told you by itself just on my skin I'll put a couple of drops because that's all you need a couple of drops and just put it on my skin and go to bed I'll put a drop in my moisturizer and put that on and go to bed I'll also use it as a replacement for my eye moisturizer I'll put like a drop on my hand and just sort of rub it in like this and then whatever is left on my finger I just sort of pat into this whole eye area above and below my eye and what I have noticed is one second I'll be right okay I'm back so I think what I was saying is that I also use it around my whole eye area in replacement of a night cream I'll, I'll um, sort of go between night cream I mean eye cream sometimes and maracuja oil sometimes and I really like the way my eyes look and feel the next morning they feel moisturized they don't look as crepey as they normally would if I didn't use anything at all and it makes it much a much smoother for a much smoother application of my primer and my eyeshadows or any eyeliners or anything else that I want to put on now um I just wanted to go over what maracuja oil is and I should have done that the first place instead of throwing at you what I do and how I like it and it's actually a oil from a fruit from a fruit tree in Brazil for lack of a better way to say it um, they harvest it once a year and that's in late August and what they do is they cold press the seed from the fruit and that's where they get the oil from. And some of the claims that they make 
is that in about after six weeks of use that 94.3 percent of the subjects who use this are a visible improvement in the texture of the skin 90.6 percent of the subjects agree that they had a um, their skin appeared more radiant and luminous and 90.5 percent of the subjects agree that the fine lines and wrinkles are visibly reduced which i can't agree with everything that they just stated in, in this literature that i'm reading here so um if I had to choose between maracuja oil and argon oil, I would always go with this one. And I feel like I'm a, a little biased because I had the maracuja oil first. I tried this first and then I was like, okay, well, maybe it's not as good because everybody kept talking about argon oil. So I went and bought the argon oil and I used it. And whereas I like it, I don't like it as much as the maracuja it does not it's good for for me anyway for other parts of my body not necessarily my face because i feel like the oil just sits on top of my skin it's good for my cuticles this is argon oil for my cuticles which this is good for the cuticles also um it's good for my hair i'll use it on my feet and my elbows and, and rough areas like that but i will always prefer this one for my face every time Alrighty, that is it. That is my review of the Tarte Pure Maracuja Oil. Thank you for watching and have a good day.